Have you ever wondered how the world map came to be the way it is today? Well, it's all a part of a fascinating and complex field called geopolitics. It's the study of how geography, mountains, rivers, climate, and more, impacts politics and international relations. Now, let's take a step back in time to the era of ancient civilizations. Picture the Egyptians, with the Nile River as their lifeline, or the Greeks, scattered across countless islands and hilly terrain. These geographical features weren't just backdrops to their lives, they played pivotal roles in shaping their political decisions. The Nile's flooding cycle, for instance, influenced agricultural policies while the Greek archipelago led to the formation of city-states. Geographical factors also dictated trade routes, war strategies, and alliances. They were so integral to the way societies functioned that they ultimately shaped the world as we know it. That's how the concept of geopolitics was born from the early civilizations who depended heavily on their geographical location. As we moved into the Middle Ages, geopolitics took a different turn. This period stretching roughly from the 5th to the 15th century was a time of profound transformation. The fall of the Western Roman Empire gave way to the emergence of nation-states, a shift that had significant implications for geopolitics. Nation-states began to form around shared cultural identities and common languages. These new units of political organizations sought to consolidate power and expand their territories, often through warfare. This was a time when borders were in constant flux, shaped by the push and pull of conflicts and alliances. Religion, too, played a pivotal role. The Middle Ages were marked by the rise of the Catholic Church in the West and the Islamic Caliphates in the East. Both wielded significant political power and had substantial influence over geopolitical decisions. They often acted as arbiters in disputes, shaped alliances and even led military campaigns. Their influence extended beyond borders creating a complex web of relationships that spanned across regions. In addition to religion, trade routes also became a key factor in geopolitics. The famous Silk Road, for instance, was not just a route for the exchange of goods but also ideas, religions and technologies. Control over these routes meant economic prosperity and political power, leading to intense competition and conflict among nation-states. The Middle Ages also saw the rise of maritime trade routes, which would later pave the way for the Age of Discovery. Control over seas and oceans became just as important as control over land. These routes opened up new lands for exploration and colonization, adding another dimension to geopolitics. So the Middle Ages added another layer to geopolitics, integrating religion and trade into the mix. It was a time when power dynamics were shaped not just by military might but also by cultural influence, economic prowess, and religious authority. This period laid the foundation for the geopolitical landscape we see today setting the stage for the centuries of change that were to come. The Age of Discovery was a game-changer in geopolitics. Imagine the world as a giant chessboard, with nations as the players and territories as the pieces. In the Age of Discovery, which roughly spanned from the 15th to the 17th century, this chessboard was expanded dramatically. This era was marked by explorations from Europe to Africa and the New World, as well as the Asia-Pacific region. These explorations were driven by a desire for new trade routes, religious spread, and the thirst for knowledge. The discovery of new lands had profound geopolitical implications. It led to the rise of colonialism and imperialism, where more powerful countries extended their influence or control over less powerful regions. This wasn't just about claiming territories, it was about asserting power and gaining wealth. Countries like Spain, Portugal, England and France became colonial powers, amassing vast empires that spanned continents. These empires didn't just reshape the world map, they also created new geopolitical dynamics. For instance, the rivalry between England and Spain over control of the New World played a significant role in shaping their diplomatic relationships. The scramble for Africa where European powers rushed to claim African territories is another example of how competition for new lands influenced international relations. Colonialism and imperialism also had lasting effects on the colonized regions. Many of the conflicts, borders and political structures we see today in these regions can be traced back to this era. For instance, the arbitrary borders drawn by European powers in Africa and the Middle East have been a source of conflict and tension even till today. The Age of Discovery also saw the rise of global trade as nations sought to establish trade routes and gain access to exotic goods. This led to the emergence of mercantilism, where the wealth and power of a nation were measured by its trade surplus. This in turn, set the stage for modern capitalism and the global economy. 
In short, the age of discovery wasn't just about finding new lands, it was about reshaping the world. It was about power, wealth, and influence. It was about changing the rules of the game. The age of discovery, therefore, was a turning point in geopolitics, paving the way for a new world order. Fast forward to the modern era, and geopolitics is more complex than ever. Let's dive into the factors that shape the landscape of modern geopolitics. One of the most significant influencers is technology. As we advance into the digital age, the world is becoming more interconnected, information travels at the speed of light, and this has a profound effect on geopolitics. Nations that control and utilize technology effectively have an upper hand in the global arena. They are able to exert influence not only through traditional means such as military power, but also through digital warfare, cyber espionage, and control of data. Next, we have economic power. In the modern era, economic strength has become a critical factor in geopolitical dynamics. Countries with the strongest economies have the resources to project their influence worldwide. They are the ones setting global standards and shaping international policies. This economic influence often translates into political clout, allowing these nations to steer the course of global politics. Then we can't forget about global alliances. Nations are no longer isolated islands. They form alliances, blocks, and coalitions, creating a global network of shared interests and mutual support. These alliances can shift the balance of power and often play a pivotal role in resolving international conflicts or pushing for global initiatives. Finally, international organizations are key players in shaping geopolitical dynamics. Bodies like the United Nations, World Bank, and World Trade Organization, among others, set rules and standards that all nations must adhere to. They help maintain global order, promote cooperation, and resolve disputes. Their role in geopolitics is substantial, as they have the ability to influence the policies and actions of member nations. In this era, geopolitics is no longer just about borders and territories. It's about digital space, economic dominance, shared interests, and international regulations. It's about navigating this complex web of influences and interconnections to achieve national interests. Thus, in the modern era, geopolitics has become a complex web of interconnections and influences. So what does the future hold for geopolitics? As we gaze into the crystal ball of the future, three major factors stand out that could significantly shape geopolitics. Climate change, technological advancements, and shifting global power dynamics. Firstly, let's consider climate change. As the effects of our warming planet become increasingly apparent, we're seeing geopolitics being redefined. Countries are being forced to grapple not only with the internal challenges posed by climate change like flooding, drought, and extreme weather, but also with the international implications. Think about how the scramble for resources in the Arctic, brought on by melting ice caps, is already changing the geopolitical landscape, or how climate-induced migration could reshape the world's demographic map. Next, we have the accelerating pace of technological advancements. The rise of artificial intelligence, digital currencies, and cyber warfare are all transforming the way we understand power and influence on the global stage. Countries that can harness these technologies effectively could leapfrog traditional superpowers in terms of influence and control. And finally, the shifting global power dynamics. The rise of China and India, the re-emergence of Russia, the relative decline of the West, these shifts are already reshaping the geopolitical order. As we move forward, these changes in the balance of power will continue to create new alliances, conflicts, and power structures. But why is understanding all this important? Simply put, geopolitics is like the weather of international relations. It's the backdrop against which all other events play out. Whether we're talking about trade, war, diplomacy, or even sports, the underlying geopolitical context shapes how these events unfold. So, if we can understand the forces shaping geopolitics, we can better predict and navigate the future. The future of geopolitics, then, is a fascinating and ever-evolving field, and understanding it is key to navigating our interconnected world. We've come a long way in our understanding of geopolitics. From its inception, when territories were defined by tribal boundaries and natural features, geopolitics has been a key player in shaping our world. As we moved into the Middle Ages it became a chessboard of kings and queens, where power was dictated by land ownership and strategic alliances. The Age of Discovery further complicated the geopolitical landscape, as nations raced to claim uncharted territories, sparking conflicts and reshaping the world map. 
In the modern era, geopolitics has become even more complex, with technology, economics and global issues playing significant roles. Looking ahead, the future of geopolitics is anything but predictable. As we grapple with challenges like climate change, resource scarcity and technological advancements, the geopolitical landscape will continue to shift and evolve. So, while the world map may seem static, remember, behind it lies a dynamic and evolving story of geopolitics. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.